Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are talking about y-intercepts. What is a y-intercept of a line? Well, here's a little example. We've got this line here. It could be something like y equals x plus 1, which means that it goes up one unit for every unit it goes over on the x-axis. This is in slope-intercept form. And the plus 1 on the end tells us that it intersects the y-axis. I'll just label this. There's your y. There's your x-axis. It intersects the y-axis at positive 1. So that means that our y-intercept is 0, 1. You could also say that our y-intercept is just 1. It really means the same thing because every y-intercept has an x-coordinate of 0. So it's not really all that useful to specify the point or what just the uh, y-coordinate is. Either one tells you the same information. Now, every linear function has a y-intercept. There are lines, however, that don't have y-intercepts, but these lines are not functions. So for example, if we draw another coordinate plane and look at the line x equals 2, let's say this is, uh, this is x equals 2 right here, so the line x equals 2 looks like this. This line has no y-intercept because we see this is our y-axis and this line is never going to intersect the y-axis. It runs parallel to it, so it's never going to intersect it. However, it is also not a function because for any input in its domain, which is just x equals 2, we get more than one output. We get infinite outputs because for x equals 2, this line, y could be any value. It covers every single real value of y. So this is not a function. Every linear function has at least one y-intercept. For example, if we look at a whore, excuse me, I said at least one. I think it has exactly one. We're talking about lines. Every linear function has one y-intercept. If we look at a horizontal line like this, almost looks horizontal, though it's a bit crooked. Um, this has an equation, say it could be y equals 2. That could be it. And this is still in slope-intercept form. It's just that we have a slope of 0. So all that we're left with is our, is our y-intercept, which is y equals 2, uh, which is right here. So it goes all the way across. It is a function, and it has that one y-intercept at 0, 2. So that's what a y-intercept is. It is the point on the y-axis uh, where a linear function crosses. Where a line crosses the y-axis, that's the y-intercept. For a line like y equals x, again, this is in slope-intercept form, and the y-intercept tacked on at the end is just a zero since there's nothing there. So this line goes through the origin um, right there, right through the center, and that is another possible y-intercept. That's just 0, 0. Again, every y-intercept has an x-coordinate of 0, like you see here. So I hope this video helped explain what the y-intercept of a line is, and a little bit, um, a little bit more in-depth about lines. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped you understand the y-intercept. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, or if you need anything clarified about lines and y-intercepts. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You live it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases